Cosmic Turtle and thank you so much for joining me. In this video we are going to be continuing the playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, um, I won't lie, I can't really remember what I was doing or where I am. Um, I haven't played the game in a few days, had the weekend off streaming. So, <laughs> what was this? Yeah, we're doing a lot of save. So I'm a bit, um, a bit lost at the moment, trying to get my bearings, but we'll get there. Oh, I thought we'd give him a bit of money. Where's the where's the counter? All right, give money. I got three hundred dollars, so we'll give him fifty. How are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Who ain't? Give him fifty-four. You better appreciate that, Dutch. What's this? Don't be. Be fine. One of us now. Play security information update. Download size requires Wi-Fi. Alright, well don't download it then until I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Why aren't I connected to Wi-Fi though, actually? Uh, Alright, so let's quickly make sure. Alright. Hello! Go on. Hello. There we are, as long as I speak up, you will hear me nicely. View dashboard. Uh, change the title. There you go. Yep. Oh, it says get my fallout. I need to change that. Although I'm pretty sure that's what it sends out as a notification. Meaning the fact that I've updated that now to say RDR means absolutely nothing. But it's all good. Oh, we got. Uh, hello. I've got a few of the dashboard so I can see any messages I may or may not receive. Hello. I'm hoping you can hear me. <laughs> Alright, so we, we contributed 50 doll hairs to the camp. We got a mission by here for Dutch. Oh, we've got a free mission. We'll, we'll, we'll see Dutch first. Ah, awesome. You can hear me. Brilliant. We can play poker. We're not going to play poker because I'll probably lose. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Stay, stay, no, stay away, Reverend. I'm, ta I'm talking to Dutch. For my life. I'm stuck. It's not, Mr. It, it, it's not, Miss, it's not Reverend. It's, it's really not. Like that. He, he, he came over to me, all that, uh, all that emotion, and and just said like, "Don't worry about it." Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. Back on our feet. Buy for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon. I don't Soon. Know. It's not like good enough, Dutch. Things have changed. The whole world's changed. Right. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. Right, I'll try to go on the website again, see if this is... The list of men take jobs in the government. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> see if this is easier. I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to... I will trust Dutch. Trust Dutch. I won't pay attention to so. he, He's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. Ah, okay. oh, screw that guy anyway. We don't need him. He smells. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the hard <laughs> side? <laughs> you know my feelings about him, Dutch. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't would think he? he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. <laughs> you okay, Lenny? I don't think he would. Yeah. Lenny? I'm okay. You don't seem right, okay. Let's take that close that one down. Town, there we go. Valentine, not strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No the crazy quick business. brown fox jumps now, over the lazy. You, you know what? You couldn't be more correct, man. You literally are. I've never heard a more true statement in all my life. I'll get to it, Dutch. I just can't drop everything. Come on, Lenny. Is this my horse? 
I think this is my one. Well, he's climbing on it, so... Ride to Valentine's Saloon. Alright then. Let's do this. Oh, calm down, you. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Well, good man. Hey, look like you've been through it. Could have stopped a couple of times, though. No one really likes Micah, you know. He's a bit of a douche. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting. Ah, wait a minute. Do, do they follow the road on this? Let's hope he follows the road. I think this is the Witcher, though, if you hold X, they follow the road. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah drank some more. What is it from? Is that something that gets said in, um, in Resident Evil 4? Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like a strike of a match. The law was on us fast too. Well, they were messages. ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away just about. The quick brown fox right, jumps guys. over the lazy dog. <laughs> there's, a, there's a special I'll words to live by, no, if nothing else. Now, oh my god, is this the bit? Is this the learner? How is Resident hey, Evil 4, by the way? I've really been meaning to play that for a while. I'm reading this. I'm gonna end up taking someone out and probably get arrested. I'll, I'll wait until I get off the horse and then I'll. No! So we're on the same page here. I'm actually controlling my uh, character now with my forearm. <laughs> so it's, it's what brings the stuff used to test. Oh! <laughs> wow, that is. I did realize that. See, even if you ask me to look at that and read through it like a hundred times and ask if I noticed anything interesting about it, I probably never would have noticed that every letter was being used once. Go to the bar. Oh, I think I think this is it. I love this part of the game. <laughs> Lean on the bar. Ah. Just one or two, right off of? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? It, it, it was like that when I was streaming Fallout New Vegas, actually. That game went from, like, a couple of hundred people watching it to, I think, one guy... Not... I don't think he had 10k, but whenever one guy streamed... Yeah, no, sorry. It went from about 50 people watching it to about 900 or, like, 1,400. But they were all watching him. So... I mean, you know, I've much smaller crazy scale, crazy but crazy same sort of situation. Crazy, crazy well, that guy's up, ugly. Shut up. Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> men is dull. Leave the fool alone. Go on, punch him. Charm, fretting, beat. Oh, I'm gonna beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you fool! Get out of here! Don't come back. Hey, one last drink. Yeah, What's this? Uh. Oh. Ah, well, yeah, that's really helpful as well. Then. I think. Um. What, I tried streaming. Um. Star Wars the other week or the other day, like some point last week. And there was so many people streaming it, I probably should have... Hey, where are you? I love this part. <laughs> Learner! Um, I, I end up getting like no one watching me. So I'm not sure if that's going to be one I will do a full playthrough for if that happens to like be the case. It's because it's just going to ruin my average more than I ruined it accidentally myself. Cause it turns out now I can, uh, what's it called, do reruns. And I accidentally posted a rerun the other day for about, literally about 30 seconds. And in that time, someone happened to click on my video to watch it. So for that stream, I had an average viewer of zero. And it, it, like, it knocked down my, um, my average from point, what was it, 3.04 or something, down to 2.89 or something. Quite a big hit, just out, out of nowhere, I couldn't believe it. What is it? 
Lenny, is that you? <laughs> no, you, you don't have to maintain the free. As far as I'm aware, it's... I think if you drop really low, or if you just stop streaming over a long period of time, then you lose your... Oh god. What's it called? Um... Come on, Lenny. Your affiliate status. I don't think you lose it straight away, though. <laughs> yeah, shut your mouth, mister. Hey, look at this go. <laughs> Come on, Lenny. Huh. Oh. Jack and he has a penis. Let's not look. This is weird. Come on, Daisy's gone forever. There we go. Almost definitely nothing there. Oh, what the hell? It's interesting. Oh god, we're in first person now. Lenny, where are you hiding now? <laughs> ah, this part of the game is great. The way how his voice broke then, that sounds exactly like, um, what's his name from The Shining? What's the kid's name? I forgot the kid's name. The father is Jack, I think. Jack? Yeah, I think it's Jack. See, the viewers is so weird though. It, like, when I used streamed, um... Like, f uh, Fable 2 sometimes, there would be no one watching it. To be fair, there was no one streaming it. Or maybe one person streaming it at most sometimes and I'd still manage to get quite a few uh, what's it called viewers throughout all things considered you know oh my days <laughs> that's not Lenny <laughs> well that, that, <laughs> that was really unexpected I don't think I've ever seen that before <laughs> come on Lenny Is there someone in here? No? Hello? Oh, what's this? There's a hole in the floor. Right, come on, Lenny, we, we get, we find him. You there, friend, have you seen Lenny? It's, it's got the name spelled wrong. It says Enel. So you're gonna learn it backwards. Gret. Great. Gret. Great. Great. Oh, yeah. Great. Stop stomping off on me. I'm Clyde. Oh. Sorry about that, Clyde, my man. Ah, Lenny. <laughs> not not anymore. Ah. Oh, sorry, friend. Maybe it's Lenny's out here. Or not. <laughs> ah. Lenny's playing the piano, obviously. No. Oh. Not a Lenny. Ah! Oh, crouching. What if Lenny's getting his hair cut? Oh! Lenny? Oh, this one's an actual Lenny! It ah! No! Yeah, take this. Yeah, have one of these. <laughs> I like how we just quickly transitions. Cheers. Not you again. So, how far into? Oh my God! Wait, oh my days. Go on, take this, you fool. When was the last time you actually like played it? And how far into the game are you? 
Yeah, we, we're playing as an evil. Oh no! I missed the X. Alright, you get to survive this time, friend. <laughs> Have you got this far into the game? You, so you haven't even seen this part of the game then? It's just... Oh no! Stay away! Ah! Quickly! Run away! Do you remember like roughly how far into the game you got? Oh damn! Quickly! Let's get out of here! I can't even see the button! Ah! It's X! Ha ha! Ah no! <laughs> <laughs> ah, foolish Arthur. Arthur, What do we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. <laughs> you pair degenerates. Oh. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> well, I don't remember. <laughs> you got any money? It's ten dollars and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. Ten dollars. I want to see the. Oh, why did I pay? Why did Lenny pay? I got like two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Oh damn it, Lenny! Oh, so, that was a quiet drink. That's an unnecessary uh, detail there. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least you took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down. Feel sorry for myself. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Tell you what, these guys really know how to uh, keep a low profile, don't they? Uh, come on in, Arthur, my man. As much as we hate him, let's help Micah. Not oh, hair in my mouth. As hard as that would be to believe, with hair as short as mine. Ain't forgotten you. All right, let's pick out our map. How far away? Yeah, so to get to Micah, I believe we're actually going to uh, going to Strawberry. Aren't we? Whatever that is. Ah, here we go. It's down here. I'm not going to do all the little side quests and what have you. Mainly because I don't know how... Oh god. How long this playthrough is going to be anyway. I'm expecting it to be at least like 15, maybe even 22 hour videos. Possibly more. But if I cut out some of the side quests, at least, you know, might be a bit more of a manageable playthrough. Right. I'm pretty sure this game does not let you follow the tracks as he just runs, which is so annoying. Um, no, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, when when I host you. Well, actually, I don't know, because if when I've like hosted you and I've been able to click on the the video, I have two options. I can either go onto your channel and watch you, or I can click on my channel where I'm hosting you and watch you through me. And I'm pretty sure if I message you there, you don't actually receive my messages, because I I made that mistake one time before where I was watching you. What was wrong with you now? Uh, will you stop walking, horse? Uh, if you could help just... me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. All right, friend. Why did I pull out my gun? Pull out the gun, damn it! Just shoot the chains off. Mate, Please. I'd like to. Done for otherwise. <laughs> what are you doing? He's not pulling out the gun. Oh, honestly, I hate that mechanic. Right, shut up, my horse has my guns. Right, just grab the pistol. Alright, come on, open your legs. I'm gonna shoot your foot. Oh, oh, oh yes. There yes. we go. Perfect. Ah, thank you. 
No problems, my man. Oh, he has a reward. Sorry about that. Wrong button. Oh yeah. Oh, that a fact. Sure oh yeah. Why'd I be interested in that, huh? To be fair, he says like, why would I be interested in that? You just willingly aided in, you know, willingly aided in a uh, escaping convict. So clearly, you're not necessarily on the right side of the law. Now, if I told the guy like, oh, I could never do that, I'll turn you in. Do you reckon that's actually an option? Last saw the guy, check him on your horse and take him back to, to next time. I find someone who asks me to break their chains, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yep. I'm going to just ride back into the sheriff's office with him and see if the game recognises it at all. You know, registers that this guy is an escaped convict. This game loves his little details, so... Sounds like one that they'd probably put in here. Uh, come on! Horse. Uh, actually, now I think about it, when you when you host, because I have one person who hosts for me, or who hosts me, and in my streams once or twice, I think it's been twice that I've, that I've noticed. It may have happened more, but when you get your email off Twitch giving you your summary. There's this extra option at the bottom called um, Top Referee and the person who's hosting you and has the most I guess viewers watch you through through them, through their channel initially it, it keeps track of it What is this? You there! Person! Can I help you? Just taking a look. It's a mighty fine the structure you got there. Head foreman. We still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> look at these dolts. Not a brain between oh, I, well, I've never noticed, um, I suppose, because I've... I wouldn't see for you, because when I've seen, like, when I'm hosting you, obviously I can't fall on myself. Um, the only way I'd be able to see is if I watched, like, if you hosted someone, and then, oh, see, because I'm still following you. If someone else hosted you, who I don't follow, and then I like watched watched you through them, I suppose I could see that, but it makes sense because surely you have to get something in theory for hosting someone because you're going out of your way to be helpful. But then I suppose it doesn't always need to be an incentive to do something. You can be nice to someone just for the sake of being nice. What we got gin. Uh, t cigars, we'll sell those because we lose stamina with cigars. So there we go. Free cigars, my man. Appreciate it. That should keep us going. <laughs> this should keep us going. <laughs> I I weren't listening to what he said, so I didn't know why I was selling him stuff. If I knew, I would have sold him those canned peaches. Helped them out a bit more than free cigars. Your horse is dirty. Yeah, yeah, we'll run into a river now. I suppose it does make sense though, because nowadays people don't like to do anything without benefiting themselves first. Hey, I've gone the right way. I kind of thought this was the. Oh shit, what have I done? Oh. oh it's okay, it's okay. Then I suppose it makes sense, like, you know, I hosted you because, you know, I consider you a friend, so I didn't need anything for it. 
but then maybe if a stranger or you know someone I didn't really talk to or someone I didn't really know asked me to host them why Sure, I'm thank going to Strawberry. No. Go on. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Hop on, friend. Hop up there on the, on the back with you. Your legs work, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little... <laughs> Come on, let me read this. What are you doing out here, anyway? Yeah, well, I suppose it does make sense, but it feels like if they watched it through your channel, uh, well, I suppose they don't count the views. Oh, sorry. Because if you're trying to go for partner, you need an average view count of 75. But then if you was helping a friend get affiliate and they were getting an average like viewer count of 3 per video, that would heavily affect your average of 75 which I guess which is why they don't do it would be cool if they did a um, like a host summary as well so people can see or so you can see how helpful your hosts are for that person so you can see how many people have followed the person you're hosting through you or followers of yours have also followed them that sort of thing would be quite nice you show me a timber frame jack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile you have this mayor. Uh, oh, awesome. Tolerable Won't be too long now. Woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub. Have you managed to finish um, well, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order then? Is that why you started Resident Evil 4? Out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves and I'm up with some cowboy. No offense. I think I could just suddenly decline him like, ah, oh, I changed my mind. Get out of here. <laughs> right, mate. You can see me here with this fool. Just give it a little closer. One ninety nine, wow. That is cheap. I'll have to check the sales on PlayStation. Since horror games are obviously best streamed to people being able to see my reaction in the event that I get scared. Oh, I found out as well. Um, when I told you the other week about the uh, the adapter for the Xbox Connect being a hundred pound, there's since been like a food party one released, which sells on Amazon and eBay for between like twenty eight or no, twenty seven and thirty pound, which is great. Only annoying, I left my Connect. Um, I've left like most of the things when I came to Bangor, I left in my auntie's spare room, so the connect is there. But I'm going to be visiting my family over Christmas, so I'm going to try and find the connect and get that adapter, that way I can actually have a camera on PlayStation and Xbox, which is really cool, and I'll be able to stream any game and not potentially lose viewers or what have you because of my uh, lack of a camera. Oh, what, what? So if you just don't stream for a bit, your earlier videos, which may have had less than three, will boost up when they uh, no longer count within the the day requirements, or the required days. It's quite clever. Uh, is that the approach that you're going to go for, or are you just going to go for more streams, since your your recent streams have been doing quite well? Or at least they seem to be, because your average is boosting up quite nicely, so... Arthur, Arthur. Hello, Micah! Ah, what did the... Hello, damn it! Hello, friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? Wow, that is awesome. I ain't decided yet. Real funny. No, I don't, I don't see the point to being active. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now... I got an opportunity to watch you. Dragon, I can just shoot him through the thing. Gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Oh, I have. Of course mistake. you did. Listen, <laughs> there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you 
Swing. You got to do something, Arthur. No. Alright, this will probably make me fail the mission, but. Oh, I'm not allowed to shoot them. Wanted dead or alive? What the hell? Why, why am I wanted dead or alive? For trying to kill Micah? This is ridiculous. Everyone wants Micah dead. <laughs> um, god damn it. This feels a bit unfair. <laughs> Hello there, friend. This may result in me getting killed doing it this way. Ah, come on! <laughs> Alright, I won't try to kill Micah this time, and uh, let's do the checkpoint. <laughs> I'll get the people after me when the time is right. Ah, oh, well, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> I suppose it makes sense that I literally did start shooting a gun. <laughs> Come on, then, Micah. Come on. Do I need to finish Red? Uh, no, not Red Dead. Um, GTA Five as well. Never finish that. What lever is he on about? I can't see the lever I need to pull. Ah, well, no. Oh, well, this is it, apparently. Because I was playing that with Evie, but we haven't played it in a while. And it was this. Alright, hold X. Come on, then. Ah, it's mash X. Of course. This game makes a clear distinction between the two. So I know which one I need to do. Down. The hell are you doing? He was an O'Driscoll. How do you know he was an O'Driscoll? God damn it, Micah! <laughs> Equip bandana. It's a bit late now, I think, but sure. Friends? Oh, jeez. Right, those are horses. I don't want to kill horses. Die! You balding fool! Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh god damn it, Micah! Trust me, Morgan! Trust you! You have found your damn man! No one trusts you, Micah. I mean look at you. You're a cowboy without a hat. <gasps> I got what happened to my hat? Oh no! I want to loot this corpse and not get shot while doing it, preferably. Thank you. Right. I can't see them. Where the hell are they? Oh, right. There's one. Oh, there's a guy there! Crafty Fox, look at him! So this dead eye is like a godsend. Especially when games nowadays don't e like not so much don't seem to cater, they don't even seem to consider that someone might have bad eyes who played their games. And look at that guy, he literally blended in with the wall. If it wasn't for the fact that his skin was a slightly lighter colour, his claws almost perfectly blend in, for me at least. There we go. There's two there as it turns out. I couldn't even see that guy until his little bullet streams are flying all over the place. Did I get him? Hey, well done, uh, Micah. I, I might need to turn it on. I'm not even sure what level of aim assist I have on this game, if any. I just use Dead Eye a lot since it slows down time and kind of makes the people noticeable. But I, I've never been a fan of what uh, Rockstar have done with like the uh, sort of you know shooting system in the games. Cause I, I didn't like it in GTA 5. That's what initially stopped me from playing the game. God, the, the door was changing colour as he's hitting it. 
That is so weird. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what I'll do, actually. Hey, I want to climb up. I want to loot that man. Sure. This guy is honestly an arsehole. Well, yeah, I'll just do it that way, then. Come on, Micah. You showed him. You literally. Alright. <laughs> it's locking on and tracking him at the worst possible. Really? I hit like this. I hit his hat. But I actually hit a part of the hat <laughs> which did not affect his head. Okay, there we go. I was just gonna wait until he came. Uh, uh, someone there? Where? That's a tree. You know, you could shoot as well, Micah. Nothing's stopping you from shooting, my man. Still me. Honestly, this guy is, is a fool. My horse could have died, you know. They could have just shot my horse. Just thought, you know what, screw it. Let's not let this guy escape. Let's kill his horse. So he can't get away. Why, hello there, friend. Can you... <laughs> the game is literally aimed slightly off him, so when I'm doing the sh when I'm shooting, I'm just missing. I say, uh... Slightly ineffective aim assist. There we go, that's better. So, he may be an asshole and a scumbag of a human being, but at least he's actually somewhat helpful in killing people. See, I kill one and he kills one. It's a good system. I like it. Ha! <laughs> I got the two that time, Micah! You went fast enough, old boy. Where the hell am I going? Oh, I'm the right way. Camera tripped me up there. Again, he does realise that Dutch told us to uh, keep a low profile. You get arrested and then make us have a shootout. A bit. Seems to be a theme for you, Micah. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. <laughs> uh, well, oh, good. You're got your back. Some reason. Oh, that is probably the biggest confusing, or like the most confusing part about this game, why Dutch trusts and likes Micah so much. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. Oh, thank you. And thank oh shit. There I was having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting <laughs> me help you shoot up half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. You be a Arthur, clown by now. You and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes uh. brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah, <laughs> man now. Because I want to do some recording of The Witcher uh, again. Uh, I did a full playthrough of that for my YouTube, and obviously I, I streamed that as well. But 
I'm not going to restream it because my days was out of ball lake. What was this? Wanted, dead or alive? Javier. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well, that's probably the main mission, isn't it? Uh, index, waypoint. Alright, oh, the yeah, waypoint was there. What's this? I've got a message. I'd love to stream Switch games. Like, I've been playing so much Pokemon, I think I've got over 80 hours in it already. Game is just so much fun. And it really bugs me that for, I don't know who, if it's Twitch, if it's Nintendo, but someone must have either decided against or just thought it wasn't worth putting Twitch on Switch. But whoever that person is, I don't like them. Honestly, I would I would play through Breath of the Wild again for a third time if I could stream it. I'd play through Fire Emblem four uh, four houses, three houses, a fifth time, maybe even a sixth and a seventh to all three of the playthroughs. Uh, honestly, I would. I, there are so many games I would replay just if I could stream them on Switch. Ah, at least it, at least no one. But then you'd think they'd be able to do something when you dock it, because it does make like obviously when you dock it, the switch does get a little power boost. Why games load faster and what have you when you play them docked. And I, I did read something somewhere. I can't. I don't know if it was Twitch to be fair or someone else. Eighty-five dollar bounty. Right, just going to run over to have here before people start gunning me down. Oh crap. Alright, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm sure I've seen somewhere that uh, a company at least was trying to find a way to get some sort of streaming service on the Switch. I guess maybe that's where they came to the conclusion it's just not powerful enough. But it's heartbreaking nonetheless. Alright, here we go. Here's Javier and someone. A lot. Uniforms everywhere. Well, that's Javier. No. Oh, it's, uh, what's his name? So. Charles and Javier. Where's Trelawney? Where isn't Trelawney? <coughs> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Is there any game, like in particular, you'd like to stream that is off the Switch then, Mav? <laughs> Look at my gun there, do you know what's that? No, that's not. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's Javier. I was saying, that's not Charles. I never claimed it was Charles. Mario Kart, that would be a fun one. Yeah, I'd definitely play through Pokemon again. Well, I got Sword and Shield, so I could just play through Sword and stream that. Oh, really close now to get in my Pokedex filled. I uh, did some trading with Shane the other day. Um, you know, uh, Shane Keeler. He traded me... Um, well, actually, he traded me his uh, Zacian, uh, his legendary, and I traded him mine. And I obviously traded it back. I need someone to trade it to me forever, though, because I really want to have the two legendary... Look, what is up with my guns? It's very distracting. <coughs> uh, obviously, I want to have all 400, not, you know, just get them in my pork decks and then say goodbye sort of thing. But I really doubt I'll find someone willing to trade the legendary. It'll probably have to be me. I'll have to play through sword just to get the legendary to trade it and then give it to my my main save on, uh, on shield. The guns are off center by quite a lot. Oh, are, they're not supposed to be, but there are they. They are supposed to be. Like, the shotgun is supposed to be going down my spine. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Either that, or if they do an event. Oh, have you seen on the. Um, do you watch or do you read the Nintendo news on the Switch? 
South of the river West Elizabeth is oh crap! No! Right oh god! Uh, basically, if I know sh you may have you may use the news tab because I know a lot of people that I speak to never use it, but I do. Whenever I see a little news icon, I'm always on it. Um, and between, uh, what was it? I think it's the 4th of December and the 5th of January. There is a unique Dynamax. They uh, brought a Snorlax. So you'll be able to do max raid battles and get a unique Snorlax. So he's like a giant Snorlax laying on his back and he got like a tree growing out of his belly. So it's, it's like a little um, little town, I guess, of sorts, just chilling, living off Snorlax. Which is pretty cool. Which, from one side, that's a positive sign, because they are definitely doing something and bringing unique f uh, features with the Max Raids. But, obviously, Snorlax is already in the game. But, hopefully, that means that they won't be against adding a couple of unique Pokémon who aren't in the game, into the game. There is also the other option. Um, I'm not sure if... I think you might be aware, because you might have sent me a thing about it, which... I. I don't think you did though. Um, there are certain Pokemon in this game, or Pokemon which are compatible with the game but not in it. Like, for example, you can get Squirtle into the game and he is compatible, same as Bulbasaur and obviously all their evolutions. Mew and Mewtwo are not in the game, but if you put them in, it will work. Um, the previous generation starters, I believe, are all available. Darkrai, no, not Darkrai. Um, there's a couple of the a couple of other legendaries are are all coded within the game. Just for some reason, they're not accessible within the game. I suppose it's to give reason to actually have this Pokemon. Oh crap! Uh, what's it called? They're releasing that Pokemon Home, aren't they? And then there'll be Pokemon that you can actually trade from your Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. And it gives you a reason to actually do it. So I need something to give me Dead Eye And... Stamina. Ah, there we go. It's alright. It's chocolate. Possibly my favourite Harry Potter line. For reasons I can't explain. <laughs> It's alright, it's chocolate. That's a bad right. bad way of saying it there. Honestly, I thought that's what they were gonna do when they first brought Pokemon onto the um like onto a home console. You know, officially, not um minute. Not Pokemon Coliseum or uh, what was it? Uh Shadow DX or something on the GameCube. So I, I was a bit disappointed that they decided this one would just have its own unique region and nothing else. It more bugs me as well because the second generation of Pokemon, you could go between Kanto and Johto, so you, you had two regions there. And it's the only Pokemon game that did it. And obviously this game is 10 gigabytes. I feel like they had much more space to do, you know, more space available to them than what they used, because, for one, Breath of the Wild is 13 gig, I, I think, so there's like an extra 3 gigabytes right there. The Witcher is like 20. They could have literally doubled the game if they wanted to. But then they would have had to have paid for the bigger, was it, the 32 gigabyte cartridge instead of the standard one that they use for Switch games. I do hope though with uh, Sword and Shield Game Freak, they they haven't done it for the last two generations I think. Uh, made a food game for it, because obviously they had um, red, blue, then yellow, gold, silver, then crystal. Hopefully they do something like that with Sword and Shield, where they actually put in the effort that should have been put in the game to start with. Maybe chuck in an extra 100, 150 Pokemon. Alright then. Sounds like a plan, Trelawney. Where's my knife? Keep your head down. Wait. Hello, friend. Let's get in the river. 
Oh, but these are new shoes! They're gonna get all muck. Mucky. Dirty. I've never said mucky in my life. I never used the word muck either. I say dirt. That was weird. They get filthy. That's better. Do you say he'll take the one on the left, or for me to take the one on the left? Well, he's going left, so I'm pretty sure he wants me to go right. Take out the... Alright, no. He's going right, apparently. Ah, take that, you fool! For some reason, I gained five health from doing that. No, I wanted to take the hat! Damn it! Get out of here! Drop him! <laughs> right, there we go. Let's loot the corpse. My offer has been without a hat for far too long. You know what, I'll just get my hat. My hat back. Alright. Alright. I'll go right this time, my man. Ah! I think I was running. <laughs> Alright, come on then, Javier, my man, we got this. Come on! I need to get my favourite gun back. I think it's like, uh... I can't remember what it's called. It's like the Voltic, or the Voltric, or the Volcanic. That was Volcanic. But, you know... It's a, it's a, it begins with a V and it's a really cool gun. Really powerful. And it was my dual wield of choice. God damn it. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, you, Lenny. No, not Lenny. Javier, shoot the man. Like that, you see? It's, ve it's very simple, Javier. Well, I think I can safely say Micah, although a twat, way, way more helpful than Javier. Not a twat. Oh, crap. Are you dead now? No, he still has red. Oh, sh Ah! No, don't climb it, you fool! <laughs> oh, I bet that hurt. Ah! Charles! Are you okay, my man? Which one's Charles? A game over for shooting Charles, no my luck. <laughs> Thankfully that wasn't the case. I got your back, Charles, my man. Alright, let's loot this guy. What's going on up there? Oh shit, there's another guy up there. Hello there, friend. On, Goodbye there, friend. So what do you reckon, Maz? Or Mav? I'm not sure how to... I find it weird, because clearly your, your name states Mav now, or Maverick. But whenever I like, go to say your name, I always go to Maz. Obviously for Mazza. So I just find it weird now if I call you Maz. But... <laughs> but yeah, the, the point was, do you reckon they'll ever do a, um, a single-player expansion? For Red Dead Redemption 2, with uh, you know, similar to the Undead Nightmare stuff from number one. Maybe not Undead Nightmare, but anything at all, or do you think it's all just going to be Red Dead Online content? What am I? What about me? What am I doing, guys? Oh, they don't mean to do anything. So they think I'm useless. Oh, G they've gone back to GTA 5? Oh. 
Well, I suppose Red Dead Online has been uh, more in the news for negative, uh, you know, negative stories rather than, oh yeah, Red Dead Online is awesome, you should all play it. Alright. Come on. Well done, whoever killed that man. Probably Charles. Javier has not been very helpful in this mission at all. Oh crap. Get out of here, you fool! Honestly, I am a god. Look at me, I'm just walking through a battlefield. Like Albert West got up in here. Oh darn rope! To uh, I'll just run over to you, my man. <laughs> Look at his hair. <laughs> Stay still. I don't know, fucking dead eye. Damn thing. Now oh, get away, you fool. All right, I had a message a moment ago. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Because, like, obviously they can put new cars, for example, in the game, but then in Red Dead Online, I'm pretty sure if they did, like, an update, like, oh yeah, new horse breeds, people would either complain that it's ridiculous that they charge you for a new horse skin. But, to be fair, I suppose it would be... Ah! Sh who's shooting at me now? My godly status has been ruined! People are shooting me now. Right, I need to eat something. I said eat something, damn it! This man. <laughs> you can't get away. Ah, shit, what are, you aim what are you aiming at, old man? Oh, wow. I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Like, I've played a little bit of GTA Online, not much. I, I've, I don't even think I've... No, I think I've done one heist. I think that's it. Same for um, Red Dead Online. I think I've done one mission, or two missions at most. I might do some streams for Red Dead Online at one point. Would have been better if I could have done streams and actually like played with a friend, rather than either with randoms or on my own. But I, I don't know anyone who has Red Dead Online, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 on PlayStation. Except for my cousin, because we game share and I bought Red Dead 2. But he's almost never on, like, on console sort of thing. Really? I, I hate when games uh, block the, um, the streaming. They've done that with uh, the Bioshock games, and it's so stupid. I, I don't get why they'd block it. Because it's essentially just like free publicity, isn't it? Yeah, but then Rockstar could just take one day or even a couple of hours just to censor those particular scenes. You know, just put that annoying blue screen with the little squares all over it when there's nudity or something. It would require effort on their part, but they could do it. You haven't read them. Honestly, I've already forgotten what I, what I talked about. I haven't read them. What haven't... Are you on about the Bioshock games? You haven't played them? And you got autocorrected? Because other than that, I have no clue what I've said. <laughs> but, um, with uh, the Bioshock collection, they re-released all three of the Bioshock games. And for the, the remasters, you can't actually stream it, which is just stupid. Ah, right, I get you. No, I haven't read the Twitch rules, to be honest. I probably should, to be fair. Alright, we've got a stranger... no. 
Well, I've got a bounty here. We've got a stranger. We're not going to do that. Let's find... Where's our next story mission? There we go. Mr. Strauss. So I can't wait until the game lets me upgrade the camp so I can get the fast travel. It's not the best of fast travels and I'm pretty sure you can only travel from your camp to places. You can't actually travel to your camp or what have you. But it's better than nothing. Alright. We read and play at the same time. Ah. Well, I suppose that would make sense because I suppose you can't be in control of all situations especially for playing a game well actually yeah because I've played the witcher and the witcher has nudity there's like tits and ass all over that game everywhere and to be fair I haven't watched back my own videos well actually no I do kind of because when I need to get a um, a thumbnail obviously I have to like skim through my video to find a good part or uh, like an interesting image like for, for a thumbnail and I have definitely gone back through The Witcher and seen tits in my videos when I was streaming it off uh, Twitch so there must be maybe it's the whole torture scene with Trevor in GTA 5 um, I think I've played a little bit of it but I don't remember I do I have seen things about it though because can't you like get a tweezer not tweezers like a pliers and rip a guy's tooth out and like you know sort of all crazy stuff hook him up to uh, some sort of battery and electrocute him they've got some pretty graphic things in there maybe that's what pushed them to not allow that game to be streamed yep. either that or they probably went for the stupid approach of oh can't let you spoil the story for people who want to experience the story because they done that with flipping Persona 5 which was stupid they made it so you can't stream Persona 5 at all other than uh, I think Mementos which is just a like a, a repetitive subway system of well it's literally just a repetitive subway system and sometimes the colour of the subway changes but you can get side quests to do in there and what have you. Hello there, friends. Ah, what you, what's going on over here, friends? Yeah, um, Atlas. When they released Persona 5, they made it so no one could stream it, because... And their reasoning was, fans have been looking forward to Persona 5 for X amount of years, and they didn't want any of it spoiled for any of them. But then, people wouldn't go looking for a Persona 5 stream unless they wanted to have, like, you know, portions of the game spoiled for them. So it's kind of just stupid, and the idea of it is a bit redundant. Oh fuck! Not him. <laughs> hey, hey. No, not him. Right, let's uh, take this. First ever time I loot not looted. I had this situation. I didn't realise you could shoot the lock. I was like, oh, I can't, I can't pick locks. I have no way of getting in there. And I, I just left it. <laughs> and then I felt like an absolute idiot when I realised I could just shoot the lock and it opens for me. Come on, horse. Oh, I have my horse's name is Bunny, isn't it? I forgot about that. <laughs> Bunny the horse. Yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those classic horse names that you just hear everywhere. <laughs> uh, Evie named my horse. Uh, she was watching my stream, and I asked, uh, "What? What should I name the horse?" But normally, when she watches me, she kind of like yeah. half pays attention. So I really didn't expect her to post anything, and then she put Bunny. To be fair, though, she names everything. She likes to name animals with a different animal name. It seems to be a theme of hers. 
which is very amusing. Right, let's quickly talk to Strauss and then I will read the message that was just sent. Give me a moment here. What is it, Dutch? Oh shit, he's following me. God damn it, Dutch. Right, I can read this now. Ah, see, yours makes sense. But then again, I suppose... I don't know, what colour is my horse? I'm not sure if mine is even the right colour for a bunny. A party! The old crow. Can I just, like, push him over? Just push him off the thing. Ah, Mr. Pearson. All oh, right. Okay. So I'm not allowed to do this mission until we have this little party. I love you, bastards. Have fun. Have lots of fun. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Hey, don't bring me into this, old man. Uh, the gang is celebrating the safe return of Sean and will be unavailable for activities for a while. Alright, I guess we'll just make half a go to sleep then. Just speed up the process a little bit. Alright, uh, we will sleep until morning. <laughs> Everyone's celebrating Sean's return to me. He's like, ah, fuck that guy, I'm going to sleep. There's a, my Pokemon sword but there, look. Poor guy has been played for probably five minutes at most. Maybe not even five minutes. To be fair, when I name horses, I just seen your message again. I tend to... Uh, have you seen Lord of the Rings? Good morning. But regardless, in, there's, a, um, there's a horse on that. Uh, is it Shadowfax? I haven't seen Lord of the Rings in so long. I, I may actually remember, may have forgotten the horse's name. But I believe it's Shadowfax. And it's, uh, it's, I believe Gandalf stole it <laughs> from the elves or something. It's, but it's Gandalf's horse, but I don't think it's officially his. Or it's like the king of horses or something. Oh, you're missing out. You should see them. Great movies. Got some great games to go along with them as well. Lord of the Rings Conquest was a great game. War in the North. Lego Lord of the Rings. All fantastic games. Would love a new, uh, like... I suppose it's current gen, but since the last Lord of the Rings game, maybe next gen Lord of the Rings game. There's also Lord of the Rings Hobbit, I haven't played that though. I bought it for my cousin. Um, the very first time I went to visit Evie's family in Bulgaria, I, br I bought it for him as a present. I don't think he's barely touched it. <laughs> but then again, he's not really a fan of Lord of the Rings, but for some reason he wanted the Lego, uh, Lego Hobbit. Not quite sure why. Alright, we got we got to visit individuals. Right, we got one by here, where we also have a bounty. Oh, it's a bounty for strawberry! So we can just pop into a post office and pay that off when we can be asked. Where are the other two? We got this one over here. Oh, we got two over here by Emerald Ranch. So we'll probably go down to Emerald Ranch get a stagecoach all the way up to Strawberry or to Riggs Station if we can get there and that way we can pay off our bounty. I'll probably pay off the bounty before we fast travel just in case. The last thing we want to do is fast travel there then just get shot to pieces. What's this? There's a little icon below. Look across here. Just above this one by here. What is this? Go hunting with Charles. Uh, not today, Charles. Come on, girl. Come on bunny. Let's go. <coughs> oh yeah, but my point about the horse. I can't remember why. I, I just always like to name a horse Shadowfax. 
I can't even remember if Shadow Fox is a black horse or a white horse. I just always name a black horse Shadow Fox if I get one. And I say if I get one, I normally go out of my way to get one. Like I believe I have a Shadow Fox on Breath of the Wild. I also have a Ganon. And a... An Epona. And I also named a horse Eva, which is Evie's name. Uh, I was going to name it Zelda first, because I thought, well, it's Zelda's horse, so I'll name it Zelda. But then I changed my mind at the last minute and named it Eva instead. Whoa, steady there, friend. No, uh, well, Evie is what she prefers to be called. Her name is actually Eva, which is just I-V-A, so it's one letter change. Um, she doesn't like her name. She deems it too short. Uh, she, there, there was, I can't remember it now off the top of my head, but there is a name she wishes she was called, which is very similar to Eva, but not quite. She she just thinks three letters is too short. Isn't that right? Um, Maza asked if uh, Evie is short for anything, so I just said no. It's, your name is Eva, but you don't like it because it's too short. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's a weird coinky dink, isn't it? She comes down and says, the second we talk about her, she, she knows. She knows. Making sure I went bad mouthing her. <laughs> Alright. Tell you what, though, never realised how much I enjoyed streaming. I went to Glasgow for the weekend, uh, just, no, weekend just gone, seen Hailstorm on Sunday, and I missed streaming quite a lot, I was really surprised, like each day I was like, oh, you know, wish I could stream today, but I couldn't, obvious, for obvious reasons. One of Strauss's debtors was last seen in this area, alright then. Alright then, man who... Here you are. Hey, you! You chick? I was told I could find a chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, you might want to talk to that fella over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Oh, is that a fact? Alright, chick, I'll see you in a second. You chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long ah, god damn it. I met online, actually. Um, she was in, uh, in Cardiff University. And just, I, I don't know why, but for, oh, c uh, she was doing psychology, so her teacher mentioned, like, this uh, app or website that you could use, and it asks you questions. And based on your answer, it generates, uh, like, or gives you, you and someone else a compatibility score, basically. And he just mentioned it, because obviously they were doing psychology and there was a little, you know, I suppose somewhat linked to what they were doing. And just coincidentally, within the same time frame, I, like, I guess, maybe she thought I was lonely, my mum actually told me about the app. So yeah. Yeah, go on and I'll give it a go. What's the worst that could happen, sort of thing. And then within like two or three days of downloading the app, me and Evie started talking. Oh, that was weird. It was very much like a coincidence couldn't have happened any better, really, the way how it did. Well, I cut him free, I won't be an ass. Actually, no, this is my ass playthrough. Damn it! Oh well. Uh, where's my map? Chick's treasure map. Is this. Uh, <laughs> the perfect plan. So we got a tree next to a square. 
if something should happen to me, my ah, I don't know. Oh, my well, my something something worldly possessions are stored here, in a tree trunk or oh, tree. Ah, you see, that is so much easier. <laughs> so much easier. Um, what are we looking at here? Oh, wait, no, that's the tree. So, have I got to try and find that on the map? How is this going to work? Well, let's just look for a tree on its own. Oh, this might be a bit of a pain. Oh, wait a minute. I got a map icon. The game's told me where it is. I think, has it told me where it is? Yeah, it has. Kind of defeats the purpose of giving me a treasure map, then, I think. Yeah, there it is, there's the tree. Oh, God. Search tree. I think that's all that you'll get out of her mouth. She uh, isn't really one for messaging on Twitch. I'm, I'm surprised she messaged at all, to be honest. <laughs> yep. Alright. Next place we're going is down here. Have we got a post office? Ah, sweet, there's a post office on the way, so we can pay off our fine there. Tell you what, eighty-five dollars fine. Suddenly, my hundred and f no, what was it two hundred and fifty dollars? Doesn't seem as impressive. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, now, bunny. What the hell was that? Yeah. Alright, there's a there's a good example of uh, Evie's naming system. Which again, she's just great. It's completely off the wall and bonkers. But you know the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Jack has that uh, ghost dog named Zero. At one point I got her a plushie of it. And she gave it a new name. He, he's not called Zero. But his new name is Kitty. Even though he's clearly a ghost dog. <laughs> but you know, what can you do? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's fall over, fall, fall over here. Let's not fall over here. Let's fall back over here. And pay off our fine. Welcome, welcome. Uh, pay bounty. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. Yep. Well, that was a mighty hit of the old wallet. But thanks to Micah, he got up to a uh, wanted, dead or alive status, so wasn't really worth it. <coughs> Quiet, you! Ah, oh God, where, where are we going? Oh, we got to find someone here. I have no clue who we're looking for, though, in the game has narrowed it down to the whole area of like five or six houses. Alright, I'm not seeing anyone out and about either. Oh, here's a house. Let's pop in here. You're alright, boy. Honestly, if I did speak, I don't remember. <laughs> um, I, I tend to do that. I always forget, like, you know, I say things without really 
actively remembering what I say. So I just forget nearly everything I say after I say it. Not a uh, not a good strategy for conversation, to be fair. Yeah, a wise guy. So I might try streaming Kingdom Kingdom Come Deliverance at one point. I played that game for like an hour. Ah, here we go. To be fair, I played it for like an hour. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I got an achievement for dying in like the first chapter of the game because I got arrested and then someone set the hospital on fire and I died. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Where's our money? Are you Lenny? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, Cooper, angry is a big problem, don't we? Nothing except a lessening damn mind. Yeah. Ah, what's the punch button? Circle. I don't remember the controls. Let's fall back. Ah, here we go. The square is to dodge. Yeah, that's right, friend. We go. Oh, yeah, that's right. This was the Witcher Three. I would have killed you by now. Oh, that's right. You fool. Oh, I can't target her and, and antagonize her. I can't make my guy a super villain. Debt successfully recovered. Alright then. Let's find ourselves... Alright, yeah, we'll go back up to the train. Uh, you get back here, boy! I'm gonna beat the living snot out of you with my lasso of truth! Well, let's uh, sort this out now, shall we? What's wrong, friend? Oh, good, now I got <laughs> assault. <laughs> Well, I was, I'm thinking the same thing. Cut free. Not cut free. Let's loot him. Now <laughs> we just leave him there because he can't turn us in. <laughs> we got the witness thing. It's not going away, but screw it. Oh, we can get the stagecoach out of here. No, we could. Yeah, we, yeah, get the stagecoach because I've already paid off my fine, so. Ah! Lies! The crime wasn't reported, the guy was flipping tied to the floor! <laughs> Danny, get over here! Ladies? Right, if we hide over here until the wanted stops being read, the police won't um, link the crime to us, so it won't be a problem. Yes, you know, they're investigating. Even though we're technically not in the red area, I think if they catch us at all while they're investigating, they instantly just pin it on us. Technically it was us, so they're not pinning it on us, but you know. Ho oh, oh. ho. Can you hear that, by the way, when I click my neck? One day I'm going to just put the mic on my neck and click it, just to see if it comes through. Yeah. Alright. Ah! Yeah, okay. So I guess that's because I didn't wear a bandana while committing my crime. So they were able to pin it on me. Where's my hat? There we go. Fine, I will pay For five dollars, he's pointing a gun at me. Are you serious? <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. 
Wow. Five dollar fine, and they start shooting at me. Completely ridiculous. Come on, buddy, run like the wind. Ten dollars. I know, he's gonna fuck off. I ain't paying ten dollars. I'm not killing anyone though, I'm not boosting up my bounty because I don't want to. Obviously ten dollars isn't much, I've already paid an eighty-five dollar bounty, which I think I didn't need to pay. If I did this mission first, I think the game pays it off for you, or some like, if something happens to pay off the bounty for you to progress the story. I could be wrong, I know, I know it has happened before though, that someone has paid off my bounty for me because it was their fault I got it in the first place. No, I should have just shot the fucker in the first... I should have just shot him. Lose the bounty that way. But no, I tried to do it in a more peaceful way by lassoing him and leaving him to die. So not really that peaceful, but you know. Yeah, uh, not health. Stamina. There we go, you got full stamina back. Let's get going, boy. This foolish lawman can't find me. There's some sort of rhythm you can do while, um, while like, riding the horse. Ah, oh, shit! God damn it, bunny! Bunny? Oh, thank God. I thought you were dead there. Ooh. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Mav, if you pre-ordered, or you got a, um, a pre-order bonus for Red Dead Redemption 2, like a pre-order bonus code, that gives you a, a horse, which is a good horse, don't use it. When you get to the end of your game, just through the natural course of the story, Whatever horse you use during a particular mission near the end dies through story and there's no way to get it back. Which is ridiculous, you can't use horse reviver on it, you can't do anything, it, it just dies and it stays dead. So just so Eevee doesn't have a heart attack and hate me, when, when the time comes for that mission I will be using a different horse so Bunny won't get killed. But when I did my first playthrough, I was using my fancy horse, and it, it was terrible. I was even using my fancy horse, or I got a new, even fancier horse. I can't remember what the situation was. I think it was, I think it was the second one. I'm pretty sure I bought a really expensive horse, gave him cool, like a cool hairstyle and tail, changed the colours, went all out on him, you know, put put in the money to make this horse my own, and then he died in the story. And it was devastating because I had to do it again. I had to buy a different horse of similar standard and similar cost, which was a lot. I had to go through the same process: pay to change his hair and his tail, pay to change the colour. Uh, I think I don't think you have to rebuy like the saddlebags and stuff. I'm pretty sure they are like universal. Once you buy one, you get them on all horses. You can just re-equip it not actually repurchase it. Alright then. This is the final Lone Shark mission. God damn it. <laughs> no, put 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 the gun away. Where's the money? Uh, 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 Leopold Strauss. Uh, uh, nie mam God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Do you understand him by any chance? <coughs> do you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Hey, that'd be pretty cool. 
we we need to find a game which is uh what's it called um cross play the only one which comes to mind is minecraft but i don't really like minecraft yeah Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Um, see, it would have been cool if something like Resident Evil 5 was cross-play. Because we started playing that together co-op a while ago. Um, but that, that was obviously on Xbox. <laughs> Move aside. A gold wedding ring. What do we have here? Just keep quiet. Yeah, going for the proper arse all this route here, stealing his wedding ring. I knew that's what was in there. So yeah, you've like you probably have all possibly already figured it out, but the way how these missions work, you find out later on that it kind of is the um you are completely in the wrong with these missions, and so is Leopold since he lends money to people who can't really afford to pay back. So like you know, the way how I'm taking this guy's stuff now, even though I've already got the things I need, I'm taking more, because I don't, like I said, my guy's going to be a proper dick in this playthrough. Going for the worst possible route I can, or I can think of at least. You know, like, in theory, this guy never should have been lent money in the first place, because it was clear that he wouldn't have been able to pay it back. But that's exactly why Strauss lends money to these particular people. Like, I'm pretty sure there's one, like, very far in the game where he lends money to a man who is literally dying. Uh, that that was uh, an awkward one. That was when I started being nice to them then, because when I realised, oh, you know, these people don't deserve this sort of thing. But not on this playthrough. You've picked up Parmaid. <laughs> was that a fact? Where's that? How do I use it? Premium cigarettes. Smooth. So I love collecting the cards on this. Um, I don't think you need to smoke them, you need to buy them. When you buy or pick up premium cigarettes you find a collector's card in it. And there's a side quest for finding all the cards. It's really easy because all you really need to do is go into a shop. Uh, once you complete the game at least, the shops have 999 sets of cards. So you can literally just go into the shop, buy 20, discard all 20, and buy 20 more, discard the 20, buy 20 more, and just do that on repeat until you finally get every single card. Oh, and there was another thing there to take. An antique watch? Oh, dearie me! Yeah. Where are we? So it's not giving us a, a, an objective, which is weird. Donate to camp. I imagine once we get like far enough away from this guy's house, the game will register as the mission finished. Steady you now. Ten dollars. Oh, so I can't believe that flipping. 
literally went there to pay my debt back and then the game's like, ah, you there! How dare you! Oh, awesome, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure, uh, like, but basically I'll jump in and watch it when I finish what I'm doing by you because obviously I don't have a fancy computer and it's a ball ache to do it. Actually, I can try, I'll try and load up a tab, you know. I'll try that, see if that works. Otherwise, I'll have to wait until I finish streaming and join yours and watch you. I have a chat and what have you. But thanks for watching. It greatly appreciated. I have no idea how long I've been streaming for, actually. I may literally maybe time to finish the stream. I don't think it is, though. Alright, what we got here? Uh, wait, how can I check how long I've been streaming for? Maybe that's the downside to using the website instead of the app. <laughs> Alright, where are we? Um, give me a second here. Try and find... that's not scrolling probably have to just go back on the app find my dashboard on there because that will tell me how there we go hour and a half yeah no yeah we got time still got another half an hour roughly all right then every time uncle every time ah yeah so yeah i thought it was you check the debts by there Thirty one to the camp. Alright, these are all separate ones. God, they don't give me much today. Hey, I can finally interact with the ledger now. Perfect. So the ledger lets you see who's contributed what have you. Bill contributed seventy five cents. Lenny contributed ten dollars. Not bad. Lenny again another seven dollars. Then there's Arthur with a twenty and a fifty-four dollars. What a man that Arthur! Next page. All right, here we go. So now we can start like upgrading the camp. Lodgings. All right. Let's purchase that. So yeah, I believe you upgrade Dutch's lodgings first, then you upgrade yours. So when well then when you upgrade yours you gain the ability to do the fast travel. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Herr Morgan. Man, our accounts are up to date. Sad sack. So wow. wait. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Dow. He's the son of a preacher man. Yeah, I know the one. Come on, rotate. The thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said. Pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't I take any think nonsense. Was I zoom. Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Beat him? Oh, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Yeah, for some reason I can't the yeah, the I'm on the website now as well. The website's not letting me scroll to the very top. Which is kind of bugging me. What's this? What's this? What's this? Do I have a letter? Oh, look, I got a letter. Inspect the letter. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. Of course. I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. Oh, I guess. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them. I suppose at the time, but the I'm bad so handwriting, she says. Who care for me or cared for me? I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and well, it's a long story. And How is it now? Interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the 
girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare Hell me a little bit of your time. Popping up a I bit a room for some Chadwick reason. Farm, just north of Valentine. Chadwick Farm, eh? Sure, sure. I will consider it, Mary. Ah, Mary, Mary. How contrary. What you doing there, Bill? So, what was the contribution there, Bill, my boy? No contribution at all. He was trying to steal. Next in line. I don't have enough of that. Now we leave that as is. But what we can do is no oh, wrong button. Damn it! So if we contribute a nice chunk of just items that I've collected, like a gold watch and what have you, I might be able to get the upgrade. No, I don't have don't have many items like that. All right. One dollars. Actually, this may work. Which number is going up here? Because so far... Why is there not an option to donate all? Oh, there we go. All of those came up to... That wasn't so great, was it? Twenty-seven dollars. All right, let's get off. Donations valuable. There we are. It's four dollars for you. Seven dollars for that one. That's better, man. There we go. Look at that. Twelve dollars. I'll run it one platinum watch because I'm pretty sure. I don't remember how, but there is a way to make Arthur use the watch to look at it. There we are. We've got a gold one there. There's ten dollars. Oh, that was nice. I will do one more set of just watches and what have you. Keeping that watch for myself. Oh, crap. That is the watch I was keeping for myself. Alright, let's go to the ledger. So, the two money combined. I think it takes from the bank fund, not bank, the uh, the funds of the camp first and then takes from mine. There we go. Uh, your lodge has been there, so, so we got a map now that we can fast travel. Which will make getting around much easier. What does the camp need? It needs everything. Um, I'll, I'll buy food for the camp. Hot dog! Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Stop making me stare at it. Right, we've got food at the camp, we don't have ammo, and we don't have any, like, healings, or healing provisions. But it's all good. I'm wiggling the camp. There we go, that's my one. Come on, Alpha Boy. Right, you've already said this. You did make a fool of yourself, Reverend. Now you're making a fool of yourself again. I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier. And, well, I'm a real prized dolt. I know it. Alright, let's have a look at something then. Um, right, we're just going to fast travel. Uh, where, where am I going? Ah, yeah, right, okay, okay. 
Oh, I don't worry about that. We got a. Oh, is there's a question mark in the camp down in these parts. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing next. Keep trying to build up a little bit of money so I can buy the the provisions for the camp. What? You okay, Arthur? Oh, okay. So we're just having a little chat. Okay. What's this? I got a message while they're talking. I quickly see what it is. Oh yeah. First message. I got a new subscriber on YouTube. So thank you so much, Tristan Green, for for, uh, for subscribing. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I'll have to check that message later. Looks like it's something Christmas related, basically. No more killers. No more killing. Now it's us being hunted. See, that's another reason why a Red Dead Redemption 3 should be a prequel. Because, like you said there, that like now they are being hunted, which would imply that a Red Dead Redemption 3 set, like, you know, before this time would potentially be a vastly different style of game. When have I killed animals? You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Like, oh yeah, well, that wasn't even the question mark. What was? Oh God knows. Oh, it's got yeah. Okay, that was the question mark. Uh, come on, horse. We're getting out of here. Oh, that girl. You're all right, girl. How you getting up? Now we have two missions available to us now. I didn't realize that. Lady. Where'd you get off to, Lenny? Oh, though, this is not a game I thought going back and doing a second playthrough would have been as enjoyable as it is. Because quite often, for me at least, when you play a game... Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Fucking Elmon. They fucked me up. Right proper. They gave me a good shim shammy in. I don't have a clue what's going on with my my web page. I'm just gonna have to refresh it. I can't see the top of it and it's really bugging me. Alright, come on then. Horse? Ah, oh, shit, I'm back in the camp. I should have just used, um, what's it called? There we go, it's loaded up properly now. Yeah, for some reason my um, my activity feed was gone and I couldn't get to the very top of the um, of my page to see what was happening, what was going on, sort of thing, you know. Hi, 
Ha, Peterson. Sorry, give me two seconds here. Right, there we go. Right. So let's try this again. We're going for one more mission. Because I'm pretty sure I've gone over two hours at this point. I might be wrong. I may not have. Yeah. But we're gonna go down one more mission and then call it a day for today. I must say I've really enjoyed the, today's stream. It's been really fun. Um, nice conversation with Mav. So yeah, with these ones, you definitely want to do this. Because if you help this guy, the next time you go to the town where he lives, he'll agree to buy one item for you in the shop. And it's a uh, a quick and easy way to get like a free gun or free pair of trousers if that's what you want. I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it around here no more. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? So yeah, next time you like pop into whatever town he lives in and you go near him, you should like or like go within his proximity. He'll call out to you and then he'll tell you, you know, go into and he'll tell you a shop and get anything you want on me. So it's really helpful and really useful to do it and you can also just like siphon out the thing which would mean Arthur will like suck the blood out of the guy's leg or suck the venom out of his leg. So you can do it for free as well if you want you know your Arthur to be sucking on his leg. Which I don't. The idea of it is a bit odd, a bit weird and off put in to me. But if I don't have the um the healing item required then I will do it that way because it's good to actually get that mission done or get those little little ones done you know retrieve the debt from Mr. Downs whatever do you want <coughs> oh, come here you maggot please sir I'm I'll really <laughs> certainly would you oh, please I have a family sir please I don't care about your family. You owe me money. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Yeah, you punk. Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. It's interesting how his voice hasn't changed. He's literally just been punched in the face twice. Is all I require. He would he would sound a lot more panicked at this oh my god. Please. We've gone cinematic now, so we have to worry about it for a second. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. Herr Strauss. Money. He wants it back, what's not to understand. <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We <laughs> sell your <laughs> wife. Exactly. <coughs> Thomas. What are you looking at? Thomas. I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. We get to see uh, a glimpse of Arthur's mean streak there. <laughs> Proper glimpse into his mean streak. In my days, what 
a streak of meanness it is. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> Cleaning a bit of the old blood off his face there, I think, is what that was. Alright. I guess we've got to go over and talk to Strauss now. Ah, yes, truly majestic. Beautiful song, beautiful. Come on. I don't want to mash X when I'm in the camp. I know the game won't let me go past the like the walking speed. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. <laughs> of course. Bam, mission complete. So yeah, we're gonna end this here for today. So I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have a follow would be greatly appreciated. Um but yeah, mainly I just hope you've enjoyed. Um I stream every day between about five and eight o'clock for about roughly two hours. So if you're free tomorrow around about the same time, would be great to have you again. Thank you, take care and have a great day. And on YouTube, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Take care and have a great day. Bye now.